Hi there, I'm Manav Sinha and if you're someone like me, you really like your sedans. But what if it also came with a dash of luxury and even better, it came with a German badge. Well, there's a new car in town fulfilling those exact needs and it's called the BMW 3 Series Grand Limousine. Now, of course, this is a facelift of the 3 Series Grand Limousine, but what a face this is. You see, when you say things like faces and BMWs together, these days, people are at each other with pitchforks in their hands. However, in the case of this car right here, I believe that this is one of the prettiest cars that BMW is making and is on sale in India right now. And the reason is that everything that you see here just works well with each other. This is not a case of a single design element dominating all the rest, but a rather cohesive design that all comes together handsomely. The approach from BMW seems to have shifted rather drastically because if you take a look at the outgoing 3 Series GL, then you will notice that the company was going for a luxurious look. This time around, however, the intent is to clearly look sporty. The now slimmer twin pod LED headlamps and the redesigned kidney grille have been updated and go well with the new aggressively styled front bumper. The air intakes meant to cool the brakes adds to that sporty appeal. From the sides, the combination of the long hood with short front overhangs visually accentuate the car's 4.8 meter length and at the back, the flared wheel arches, the slim lights, the dual exhaust and the pinched up boot lid complete the sporty package. see the intent of the rear diffuser-like design element, but at least visually, I'm not sure if it belongs here. Overall though, the car is definitely a good-looking one. And what really matters is that if you are not completely on board with the new design language that other BMW cars are coming with, with that massive vertical grille, like the new M3 for example, then the 3GL is your best bet at having a modern BMW car with this form of design. And honestly, that factor alone may be all that you need to find this car pretty. And the good bits continue even when you step inside just like I have. And the first thing that greets you is perhaps the highlight of this facelift, which is this massive piece of glass right in front of you. This is a massive screen and at first glance, it's clearly tilted towards a driver makes it feel really special. What this is, is a combination of a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster and a 14.9 inch infotainment system, which merge together inside this glass lab. And what these screens are running is BMW's latest version of their operating software. And that really makes great use of all this real estate. The graphics are crisp, the animations are nice, and you have a plethora of icons to choose from. It really makes it feel like a really big tablet. And the best part is that this car comes with wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. So once you enable that, it is unlike an experience that you've had before. You have a massive maps on display makes life really easy what's next to is is the instrument cluster now this too can be customizable and you can choose the content that you want uh, to be displayed over here be it maps be it the music you're listening to or just your typical old school numbers on the screen all in all the customizability is high the readability is really nice and the cool factor is really really high What's also new is the gear lever, which is rather small. The upside to that is that it adds to the feeling of spaciousness for the front passengers as there isn't a conventionally sized gear lever in place. But what it trades off for this is the driver's connect with the car and the experience of engaging the gear lever while driving. And this is to an extent that it does not even have a manual shift mode anymore. Yes, you can do that through the new paddle shifters that the car gets, but then again, it is not the same. Now, 
Now coming to the rear seat experience and the grand limousine part of this car's name, well, you see, this is where you really want to be. Since it is longer than usual, the space that really opens up is for the passengers that are seated here. I've set this seat as per my height and as per my preference as to how much space I would need at the front. For reference, I'm 5 foot 10 and you can see I have more than enough knee room at my disposal. If I really want, I can stretch out. I've got these new headrests with these nice pillows and it becomes a really comfortable place to be in. Additionally, you've got an armrest, of course, which also opens up a couple of cup holders. You have a small compartment space to keep your things like your phone right here. But even if you fold it away, I wouldn't recommend having three people sit over here abreast because you have a big transmission tunnel that will make the middle passenger a little bit uncomfortable. Well, that's the rear seat experience. Now let's get to the good part, which is the driving experience. Now that we have taken a closer look at what the 3 Series Grand Limousine brings to the table, what really stands out amongst that lot is the part that we are about to get to now, which is the driving experience. You see, this is a true BMW at the end of the day. And by that, I mean that despite it becoming more comfortable and more feature loaded than before, it has not compromised on the thing that makes it stand out amongst the rest of the competition, which is the way it drives. What we drove was a 330Li variant which comes with a 2.0-litre 4-cylinder turbo petrol engine that makes 258 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. The car also comes in the 320LD diesel variant that also gets a 2.0-litre turbocharged unit with lesser power and a higher mileage claim. Both the engine options come with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Now, thanks to the power of twin turbo charging, this engine is capable of taking this car from 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.2 seconds. But the good part is, even once you're past those speeds and if you're doing your driving in regular driving conditions and you want that punch of power, all you really have to do is put your foot down and power comes to you immediately. And you have a rev happy engine that's happy to do 6,500 RPM and all of that makes it for a driving experience that's engaging and makes you want to get back to it as soon as you can. And different factors like the steering feedback, the perfect 50-50 weight distribution and the driver ergonomics make the experience complete. You also have three drive modes to choose from, Sport, Eco Pro and Comfort, all with their own set of graphical interfaces with relevant information. Now the right setup may not be the most plush in its segment, but the upside is that it is still a very good mixture of sporty and comfort. So when the new 3 Series Grand Limousine is shown those corners, well, it really steps up the game and comes into its own. It almost eggs you on to take that corner a little bit faster. The key takeaway from the driving experience is the feedback that it provides to the driver. When you want to go fast, you know exactly what the car is doing and there is no disconnect. But when you take things easy, the 3GL transforms into a well-behaved luxury sedan. The car also comes with features like auto start-stop, brake energy regeneration and now even the kidney grill has become smarter as it closes the air vents inside it for better efficiency and opens it up when things like the engine, brakes and other components need air. At the end of the day, the new BMW 3 Series Grand Limousine feels like an all-rounder and builds up on its strength of good driving dynamics and pairs it with modern luxury and comfort. Well, with all that done and said, I think that's pretty much everything you need to know about this car. It's time to get to perhaps one of the most difficult bits, which is to sum up a car like this. To keep it short, I think for those of you who are still confused whether you like to be seated at the front and have that driver's experience 
or if you like being seated at the back and like to be shuffled around during those Monday morning office commutes. If you're somebody like that, I think the 3 Series Grand Limousine is a great option for you to consider.